Let's have a go at some of these triangle questions. Over here, we know that the angles of any triangle must sum to 180 degrees. So, x is going to be 180 take away 80 take away 60. Okay? Or otherwise, we could say it's equal to 180 take away the sum of those two, which is 140, and so x is equal to 40 degrees. Okay, so 80 plus 60 is 140, 140 plus 40 will make a total of 180. So it works. And then to solve for y, we, would, we know that y is on a straight line, and if y is on a straight line, then if the right hand side is 40, that means the left hand side must be 180 take away 40, which is 140 degrees. Now, isn't that interesting that 80 plus 60 also made 140? On the left we have 140, and that's not a coincidence, that will always be the case. Let's have a go at question 9. Right, so we have 70 degrees here, and I can see the F rule straight off the bat. And that means that using the F rule, C must be 70 degrees. And your reasoning to go with that is the F rule, which is called corresponding angles are equal. Okay, so this is 70 degrees. We have 40 degrees in the middle. Together that's 110 degrees. So that means A must be 180 take away 70 take away 40, which is the same as saying 180 take away 110. A must be 70 degrees as well. Okay, so if this here is 70, then that means this triangle is an isosceles triangle, where the two angles at each corner are both the same value, and that means that the B value will be 180 degrees in a triangle, we're going to subtract 70, and then we'll subtract this 70, which means we are subtracting 140 degrees from B, which is 40 degrees. So B is 40 degrees. Now, we have 40 degrees right here. Is that a coincidence, do you think? Or is there a special rule? And I hope you've seen it. We have the Z rule. Watch this. That way, this way, this way. We have the Z rule going like that, where that angle is 40 and this angle of 40, and the Z rule is alternate angles are equal. So if you had seen that, that would be a shortcut.